Martin, the Beast picked up another point at, Mil at Mansfield Town last weekend. Were you pleased with the team's performance at Field Mill? Yeah, we've done all right. We've done all right. It was a shame that they scored when we were probably having our best spell in the game. Um, but no, we were more than comfortable. The pressure was all on them, and you could tell probably with their performance, it wasn't quite up to the level that they've shown recently. You know, they've just won away at Not uh, Exeter and beat Notts County 5 0. Um, so no, we managed to subdue the crowd. And, yeah, I thought we played well. Second half, we played uh, more with three or four people up front to try and win it, but we couldn't quite get that going. You've rotated your squad in recent matches, but still only lost once in seven games. Have you been surprised by just how much strength and depth there is in the squad? The no, no surprise at all. Will uh, full full faith in all the uh, all the squad. Um, the young players coming through. They've had an excellent season last season and they've really, really been worked hard by Ross this season. So they're, uh, they're all ready to go in. They've been drilled, training with the first team, those lads now, for a couple of months. So they're starting to get used to how to play in our team. So no, no surprise at all. They can all play in a winning team. They've shown they can all play in a winning team. They've proven they can all play in a winning team. So no surprises there. Talking of young players, Harry and Jack Taylor have extended their stays at the club this week. What do you think they can bring to the team over the coming years? Oh, well, only time will tell on that one, Will. Um, the, uh, the older brother, Harry, he's, um, he's done well so far since he's, when he's been playing with us. He's, um, he's earned that right to play in our team with the, uh, with the training that he's put in and the work that he's put in. He's very good technically from his time, obviously, working at Chelsea and with Ross. Um, well, he's a good player. His younger brother's had a few injuries, I ain't seen as much of him. But he's, um, he's a decent little player. What would I bring over the years? Well, Harry Taylor's in the first team at 18. And I started off gambling here when he was 17. And Elliot Johnson, I think he was 18. And it's taken them to a while to get up to 22 to get really fully on it. Mm. And um, I, I, I don't want to wait that long. I, I want to play in 19, 20 rather than 22, 23. So um, they've got a lot of hard work to do, a lot of hard work. The final step, the final step on that ladder uh, to get into the team is the hardest one. And of course, we've got good senior players here. And um, you know, you, you've got to be good to get in our team. Is there any injury news ahead of this weekend's match against the Oval Town? Um, no. No. I don't think so. Um, this is now the third time we've played the Oval this season. Based on the last two matches, what do you think we can expect from them on Saturday? Well, it's a bit different now. Their manager, Darren Way, is, um, they were bottom when he took over. And uh, he's done a fantastic job there. Um, he's done a brilliant job. It's an hard game. Every game's an hard game. They're safe, we're safe. Um, we've still got targets that we want to reach and break, uh, which are private to the dressing room, of course. Um, as you've seen from all the games we've played recently, the team's gone full out to get a result in every game we've played. There's been no easing off, even though we have made changes. And uh, I expect exactly the same on Saturday. It'll be an art game. He's a good manager. He's got good players. He's got brilliant management style. And uh, I'm, I'm pleased uh, that Yeovil is staying up. I'm chuffed a bit that Darren has had his chance and done so well. And it will be a tough game. Thanks. Lastly, Will, it's that tough mother thing on Sunday where my wife is running through the fields, through the mud, and with my four little nephews, or they're not little, but they've now raised over a thousand pounds for cancer research. So to everybody that's managed, some people a pound, some people a five, or some people a tenner, a couple of people have even said a hundred pounds. So I'm so grateful and thankful for all your pledges that you've made towards Lisa, um, Harry, Joe, Freddie and Alfie for their, uh, for their running on Sunday in the, uh, uh, is it called Tough Mother? Tough Mother, I think. Mother? I think so. What's that? Oh, I do. Tough Mother. Tough Mother. Mother. 
for that on Sunday. Thank you. Thanks, Martin.